My apologies. There we go. And then we don't have uh, who has the higher base initiative between. I have right four. To... <laughs> as well as right, as well as my familiar gets. <laughs> no, she is probably just going to be helping. <laughs> this is true. I actually got to re-add it to this page as well, which means I got to go find yeah. the model for it. That's the one problem is I can't add another little model to your page so you can drag them both over. It's a little sad. Boop. Oh wait, I can't, I can't drag, uh, you can't let me have control over it and drag I it? I can let you have control over it, but I can't like put one like in your journal, like how you can drag ones to new pages. Oh. Yeah. Or maybe I can and I'm just not smart enough. Then That's I'll usually just... the answer in this. Like, any, you could do most anything in this if you're smart enough. I'm just dumb. Okay, and then here's, here's her initiative. Uh, here's an eight. I don't like the word dumb. I like selectively humorous. Yeah. <laughs> selectively humorous. My yeah, dog is being needy again, so I'll be back again. Sorry. It's all good. This is a fight I picked. <laughs> Wait a minute, who has the bigger initiative order for us? Because like, both people rolled an 8. Well, that's what we were check. What I was asking is which one of those people who had the uh, the 9 had the higher base modifier. Uh, me. For, for the dragon and I, we both rolled an 8. Oh, too. same thing, yeah. Whoever has the higher base. My but what's plus 4? What, what base, what modifier am I looking at? Uh, your initiative uh, modifier, supposedly. Or your dex. Or dex. They should be the same, but yeah. Well, my dex is plus three, my initiative is plus four. You go first. You go first higher you might than have you a plus. You might have a plus four or something. Yeah, which yeah. would counts, so that still means you go first, because your initiative-based modifier is higher. Yeah. So I go first. Yep, so yeah. let me put you above the yeah. dragon, and then the same thing will happen for the two nines, which is Gunter and I think... Gem. Gem. I'm only a yeah, plus two. Yeah, because... Alright, so Geminara. So that's in the two. correct one. Um, so these guys are gonna laugh. Ah, looks like you got some real guts after all. We're gonna spill them all over the arena. And that's, that's well, what they that say. One. Yeah, and uh, they... I, be I believe you're pronouncing that wrong. It's arena... What do, you, what do you mean? That's what I said. Arena! It's Arena, it, not Arena. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Arena. You're all wrong, it's Arena. Arena! Blasphemy, shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> at which point they all aim at... Oh, no. Wedge. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stupidity will get you nowhere, kids. Um... <laughs> Yeah, give me one moment. I just have to open up the manual. And uh, at the same time as this is going on, you hear an announcer basically going over and saying the next round of, uh, you know, the Valet Tudo All or Nothing has opened. The last person or team standing will be the winner of the prize. win and find out fair do let's win <laughs> i don't like the other option so let's win oh shit <laughs> do i know which one uh which one started talking shit which one talked shit first yeah that's what i want to know <laughs> uh you notice that the one who was realistically primarily talking shit is this guy here at the start no. but this one also talked a little shit. This one and this one really didn't say much. They were just okay. hopping in the ring. They don't even necessarily look like they're with those other two. Maybe? You're not sure. Okay. They just all look okay. like orcs. So. So now we're being racist again. Look, I didn't say that. I just said that they, that, that's, that they all look like orcs, man. Oops. Oops. I left the game for a minute. And roll 20. I'm back in. It's all in good. A second. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, with that being said, I finally have these assholes up on s the screen, and I can do this the right way. The right 
way. Woo. So you see this one. Got one, two, three, four, and basically five here, right? One, two, three, four. No, that's four. So five, because technically puppet should be on shoulder of wedge. Yep. He's coming to attack wedge. Uh, this one goes one, two, three, four. And is going to throw a spear at Gunter. And this one, one, two, three. This is going to throw a spear at Jem. Mostly because she's. No. And then this one is going to throw a spear at Wedge. They all just take their turns at once to make it so that we're not interrupting your guys' flow that much. But I'm just letting everyone know what's going on because technically, technically all those guys go at the same-ish time. Uh, so here goes the fun rolls. Which we've got. I'm going to start with Gunter. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> excellent. I do believe you said fight at range, but they've taken that option away from us. Yeah, I think so. Well, only one of them so far. Anyway, I mean, well, me, you know. I mean, you have plenty of health. You're fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. Um, does does a 22 hit? Does a 22 hit? Look, sometimes it doesn't. You might have had a bonus from, like, someone's aura of protection thing, cleric stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. Bardics and things. That's fine. And I always give this option because I believe the dice gods to be cruel and unusual, but you can take the mids or you can let me roll it for the damage. I will say, as from what I've I seen, mid myself. yep, it, I've, in my opinion, somehow the mid is always better, yep. which seems statistically impossible, but it is always that way. <laughs> Oh uh, no, it actually, it actually statistically is the smarter choice, if only because if you count in crits, if you mid a crit, it's better than rolling high. It's true. I would also say, depending on the uh, adjacent pluses, because then mids, uh, because mids don't take that into account with thing, it's always going to be higher than the medium. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's seven damage. Which does seem a bit tough. But yeah, and that means his javelin, uh, one of his javelins is gone. You see he carries two, but he only has two. And it is now sticking in your shoulder, I guess. Gross. Yeah, right? Uh, then it's on to the next one. We've got a another spear being thrown at Jem. This time for... 17 that meets meets All right it meets um um where's the thing where's the thing grab it i would deflect missiles yeah get it i gotta figure out how that works does that use like a key point i believe that you only I have to use i think you only have to use a key point if you redirect it right so you can you can deflect, but if you but I'm gonna double check as well because it's always a really good thing. I should show. know this. I've I played the fuck out of Monk. I used to do a bunch. Okay, I've got forgot. it. It's if I reduce it to zero and I have a free hand, I can spend a key point to throw it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cause it's not that you can totally, you can totally nullify it, but it's not automatically to yeah. nullified. You have to roll to nullify damage, and then. If you're able to reduce all the damage, you can redirect it with the key point. Yep. All right. That sounds oh. good. So 1d10 plus 8. That's a 9 altogether. All right. Let me roll the damage because I didn't even roll it because I'm dumb. Oh, no. That's 7. So that's if you take the mid, you can do that or you can go for a roll. But, you know, you can you can just, you can just take the I'll mid. Nullify it. With yeah. 7 yeah. and since I have a 9... Yep. So and, you have the option to spend the key point and uh, redirect that if you would like. 
and it is basically the same as making a ranged attack as with a monk weapon. I'm gonna redirect it at this jerk over. Oh, come on, over here who is talking smack. <laughs> All right. Um, is from what I understand, ranged monk weapon attack is like one d four plus four for you. Uh. Just looking at your darts. A dart is a one d four plus four. But wouldn't I get a javelin? It just says on the redirect. It says range monk weapon attack, which I don't really well, know. So I would assume it's order, either I, equal I to. to hit first before we worry All about. Right, well, let's do that so, first. Yeah. I, I rolled so a twelve. What it means when it says that is that you use whatever a monk would use for its if it was using a monk weapon for a ranged attack. So it would add any of its additional hit dice. Depending on what it adds for having its monk weapon. You follow? Yeah, but I don't know what her okay. monk weapon is specifically. Uh, basically, it would be whatever that says on her page when she goes to make a attack with something that is not her. No, it would be like her fists. That's what I thought, is it would be the same as her fists, which is 1d4 plus 4. Yeah, because I'm not high level yet. No, I mean it gets higher, and the point of it, yeah, yeah, and the point of it being that you're not supposed to be like this super damagey attack. You're supposed to be hitting this person like thirty times in one fucking thing and saying you've already died and you don't know it. <laughs> Sorry, God too much enemy <laughs> reference. Yeah, way, I rolled a twelve. Uh, I don't think so. No. So it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Does not this time, but it's good to know for the future. Always got to set precedence. Yeah. Uh, third, we're gonna go for the last range attack going at Wedge. So, and that is a miss. I don't even gotta ask. Are you sure? Actually, I'm not. Is a 12 a hit? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's what I thought. Uh, but now the other guy gets to attack you, and he's right next to you, so. No, that's not very nice. I think it's really nice. Kind of. And this guy is going to have some fun. So he swings with a axe for 14. Does that hit? 14, it meets. All right, so that's... we do. I have, four, I have 14 AC. Yep, so we do meets, not beats. How do we have the same AC? Don't worry about uh, it. Because I have basic-ass leather armor. And I give you the same option I give everybody, as always. Mid mids or rolls. I'll take mids. So mids is 10. Okay. And he makes a second attack with his other great axe for a hit. Yeah. Is that uh, great axe two handed? Not for an Orog. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, may, never mind. He just has multi-attacks. Sorry. thought he had two great axes. Mm. He just makes two great axe attacks. Okay. My apologies. So, having said that, that means if you disarm him, he cannot make a great axe attack because he doesn't have two. So, it's important to distinguish. But he did hit that other one, and uh, I'm just going to assume you want to take the mids again? Yep. That's another ten. Okay. There's uh, half my health. Yeah. Yeah. But they're all done now. And it's all your guys' turn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be a nice DM and make a big suggestion of gang up on somebody to get rid of them. Can I roll to see if they recognize me? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That is a hundred percent you're right. One, yep. One fell out of the one fell out of the deck. It, it, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll count it. It's fine. Okay, uh, one is a 40. Do I have to roll four times? No, it's fine. We'll just say, f so 40 is to know you? 40 to know me. They don't know me. Yeah, I mean, you can if you want to, uh, but if you want to just, you know, make it fast, that's up to you. I definitely do not. <laughs> uh... One and then double zeros. That's 
10? Wait, man, no, that's a 1%. Isn't yeah, it? that is the lowest. It Going by the way that technically works. Because you can't get 100 Yes, they you don't can. Well, then what? Because zeros is a hundred. Double. Oh, that's right. All zeros is a hundred, which is still weird. We so need to I work got, on that. So did I get a one or a hundred? No, you. you got a one. Yeah. <sighs> if you got zero zeros one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's a one. Um. Seventy-three, and then last one. Forty-three. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't know me. There's a reason it's really high. Carnies one are. Of them doesn't, one of them doesn't know me so hard they will forget me as soon as they close their eyes. They're just like, who the f is this? Are they even <laughs> real? <laughs> oh, okay. Is she a ghost half elf? But, uh, yeah. Having said that, we have somebody's turn up. That would be Diffie's. Did, um. Nothing happens. Nothing happens? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the eyes. Wedge. Um, well, since there's a douche that's uh in melee range with me, I'm uh I'm gonna pull out my short sword and attack the guy who swung at me twice with fucking battle axe and dick waffle. That sounds like a good plan. He f***ed you up. <laughs> yeah. If he yeah, does he that again, you're falling over. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. I only have so many healing spells, my guy. That's right. Just believe in the healing words of the bards. Because I, I know when I think of healing, I definitely think of bards. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot I have that. Oh, I almost got done fucked up, Axel. So, in one hand, I draw my sword short, and in the other, I pull the whip from my waist. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Two Util weapon fighting, motherfucker. I've been waiting for you to utilize uh, some of your kit. in one and a whip in the other. And I wanna... I wanna make you, uh... <laughs> make a roll because you are carrying a uh, doll currently on your shoulder so you're gonna have to balance that while your two Dolls, weapons doll is held in place by sarah show all right that means That's sarah, sarah show don't fight all right as long as, as long as sarah show ain't doing nothing we're good nope nope doll is held in place on my shoulder by sarah show i will talk to your sarah, sarah show sarah show constrict constrict motherfucker <laughs> One day I will talk. Sarah Show kind of pops his head up, hisses at you, then goes back to what he was doing. Hiss at me? No, the one who was telling him to constrict. Okay. Anywho, attacking this guy with my short sword and my whip. Uh, first one will be for the whip. 1d20 with a to hit plus 5. That 24. Sh that should be good. Alright. The whip is 1d4 plus 3. Whew, for 4 damage. Man, a whopping 4. Alright, now I'm swinging at him with my short sword. 1d20 with the... Uh, let me look at this real quick. Alright, so it gets the same to hit bonus, well, it gets my to hit bonus, but it does not get damage bonus to... Yeah, it doesn't get the bonus to damage, but it does get it to hit, so that's 1d20 plus 5. 21. That should be good. Alright, so I'll roll my 1d6, no damage bonus. For six damage. You beat his behind back. I mean, my wonderful ten to the twenty he did to me. I yeah. mean, to be fair, he had two great sword or great axe attacks. It's a little uh, lopsided there. I don't think that axe is very great. 
if you ask me. Whoa. Boo. Ooh, hi, hi. Um, I can't remember. Is it a bonus action or an action to disengage? Um, it's an action unless you're a rogue. Yep. In which uh, case, it's a bonus action, I believe. Or it might even be a free action. Well, bonus action. That sounds six. right. Or unless you have a cool thing that lets you disengage, because, like, I got a thing. I got done fucked up, Axel. Again. How even after catching my first fuck up. What did you do this time? I forgot to Hunter's Mark the fucker. Good job. Uh-oh. Next time. <laughs> On Dragon Ball Z. Well, that, uh, that kind of ends my turn. Yeah, I figured. Because, uh, you know, I got done fucked up, and I could have done, like, 2 to 12 more damage to him. You know, it happens. It happens, man. We all make mistakes. You just make a lot. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Next fucking time. right. It's all right. I make a lot of mistakes too, buddy. Oh, well, technically, you know what? No, because I don't know if he's gonna be dead or not by the time it comes around my turn. I ain't gonna fucking waste it. Yeah, yeah, go on. Alrighty. It's. Um, is my turn next? Yes, it yes. should be, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, Nagy said it won't let me join with gun. It's gun. What's happening? Look in carnival sheets. Yeah, they created another campaign so that people can try and join up and... People can help others create stuff, but I can't join. It won't let me join them. Oh, we could troubleshoot that later. Yeah. I have not been using whatever it is to be honest. <laughs> ah, ah, it was ah. more so just to help Diffy with her stuff. Yeah, so. she's she needs a little assistance from time to time, which is fine. We all do. All the time. No shame. We need help. Thank you again, David. You're welcome. Yeah. So after I had, you know, set up with the floating disc and area part, like one half of it and the other taking beds, I was just looking for her. Yeah, how how are we doing? How, who's betting on who? Who's we gonna win? <laughs> so let me make some rolls. Yeah, and how many people are making it? Like buying snacks. So. <laughs> Yep. Hey, your carnies, this is your craft. Uh, that's yeah. So first, uh, before we determine that, I need you to roll a basically a performance check, because you're selling shit. Um. You're just, even if it's not an actual thing, it's a thing? Alright, cool. So that's pretty decent, considering there's carnies there and there. So what you're basically seeing from this so far is that there's probably about 70 people all around the thing who have come to like place bets so far and kind of like 70 nice i don't have them out here because it's a lot of them work yeah yeah, yeah. we can imagination yeah I, I believe in you guys imagination. We, we've drawn the crowd i've, I've done yeah. it before trust me i've done 70 people but it's just yeah it's, it's a lot it's a lot yeah, there you go. You can draw people yourselves. You got it. Any anytime you need to. Uh, but basically, out of the seventy people who all have gotten tickets, you figure at least fifty nine are here from the carnival. Yeah, of course. Uh, and it, and so now, uh, out of the numbers, you've basically got twenty two percent of the crowd voting for the orcs. You've got. 4% of the crowd voting for a total wipe. <laughs> you got you have 19% of the crowd voting for a uh, reappearance from Clementine. <laughs> and the, uh, and the rest of the crowd believes that the uh, the our champions party will take it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, and and guessing <laughs> I'm guessing 
um, Cl uh, Florence has gotten uh, save a uh, dead leaf where she was. I think I... some of the uh, pop rock can't keep it uh, for saving for them. I mean, that's up to you if you were saving pop rock candy for other people. <laughs> like, you yeah. you might have eaten it all. I don't know. No, I mean she's supposed to be saving <laughs> as well as taking pets. All right. Uh, so for the pop rock candy, uh, you've gotten like only maybe one or two people asked for pop rock. Candy. Yeah, you didn't get a lot of pop rock candy sales, unfortunately. Most of the people are here. No, um, that I put the rock candy into the popcorn. The very, uh, very first. Word. That's right. I do remember him saying that. I was like, it's like I don't know where we got some pop rocks from, but man, seventy others, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you were all like, you're gonna fucking break somebody's teeth, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> of course, why not? Let's go then. Let's go. <laughs> Keeps one. Maybe you want her to do because she's been asked about the keep them to his eyes. Uh, but more or less that is that. Um, other than that, her action is mainly just taking sales, doing. How many gold pieces do you have? Add a character. Or not in character. Uh, oh. How much gold are we making? Act as Axel. 16. 16. Woo! And that's Woo. that's just from initial uh candy sales. We're going to split it. Seems legit. All right. Fear the giant dark lord. It's, it's money created by the truth. It makes sense. It sense. Yeah, uh that was the, the wizards and the wizards being the front person. Even though, there we go. The That's what I wanted to go in there. So that and... that is basically what has been put up is even though you didn't put it up, basically the people who run the battle arena have put up the bet run. Okay. So, yeah, so it's up right, here okay. and that's it's showing current like bets. Awesome. Is there any that we win? Uh, there is like uh, there's basic. You guys have like the average bet. The real like high like winning bet is that uh, Clement like somehow Clementine comes in and you guys still win. That's like the twenty to one odd bet right now. Oh, so we'd have to beat up Clementine. Yeah. Oh. But also oh, bet on yourself. Yeah, that's there's a lot of stuff that has to happen there. You got to bet on yourself, and Clementine has to come back, and you got to beat up Clementine and these guys. I don't have. Well, you're fighting. You can't bet. Yeah, basically, got to get way. Jewel to bet it all. In here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, this is what happens when you fight people because they say mean things about you. See that? I wish. I, I wish. I whistle at a nearby bookie. They promptly uh, make their way over to you. Hello. When it's my turn, I'll deal with it. Awesome. Alrighty. Like, I, I don't want to act on someone else's turn, but I'm pretty sure I can get off a quick whistle while someone else is doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's the thing. Any my, minor actions on other people's turns, such as responding to conversation quickly in six seconds, etc., as long as you're not taking a major action, such as moving, grabbing, doing convincing yeah. you know something that could be basically done in a sentence is usually allowed eventually i'm gonna hand him five gold and say our team against the it's not a bad bet Alrighty. uh but, but on your turn yes <laughs> yeah 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 exactly. I, yeah i think it is yeah. jim's turn now correct unless florence has something else they want to do uh, not really i mean not even much yeah okay else other than all right, Jim. All right, so she sees that this jerk is beating up the person she's been running around with, so she's gonna go there and get flanking. Flanking. Uh, flanking is advantage, from what Sweet. I understand. Yep. 
Yeah, in 5th edition it's an option. Yeah. Because it confused a whole bunch of fucking people, but as long as you're directly across from somebody else... You... Yep. I, they really fucked me over with that one, man, I'm not gonna lie. That's, that fucked my mind up a lot when they took it out and then put it back in, it but only... Up. Yeah, it came up with in one of your other games. It today, did. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, dude, I couldn't believe it either because you it's only in the DM book, and it's optional. Like you said, it's its an optional thing now that DMs can choose or to have or not to have. I choose to have it because it's, a, in my mind, a clear tactical thing that is very real. I agree. But yeah, All right. flanking. So I'm two-handed quarterstaff, going to whack him across the head. All righty. Or just whack him in general, if that causes a higher thing. All right, we gonna whack him. Yeah, you, uh, um, called shots are a, usually a higher DC. Yeah, that's how I said something. But eighteen plus six, that's twenty-four. That should be good. And that's a D A plus four, so that's six damage. All righty, six damage. And then bonus action, she's gonna elbow him. For her unarmed strike. Alrighty. Hooray for monks. Monk shit. Uh, that's uh, the, 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 the 17 plus, um, plus 6. That's uh, 23. That's good. I would suggest that you always roll when the, your second dice when you have advantage, though, in case you get a critical. Oh, I'm rolling both dice at once. Okay. Just making so, sure, just making sure yeah. you're doing the two. Uh, yep, yep, all right, yep. so that's how much damage? Because that should be uh, it. That's a D four plus four. Four. Yeah. So that's five. Not bad. Alrighty, you see him taking some blows, and he's starting to look a little, little worse for wear, looking a little more like a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing that, can I use a key point for a flurry of blows and get another one in? Uh, you definitely can. Oh, um, I'm so glad I have advantage right now, because that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, 14. Ooh, unfortunately 14 is not quite enough. Your, uh, your blow bounces off of his armor uneffectively for that last strike. Okay. But it happens. But that was a good uh, that was a good set of events, and now we've got our very lovable Gunter. Wonk. Gunter, yes, yes, yeah, it's Gunter. So I reach it. So I reach into my jacket and I pull out a cricket and I go, "This is Jiminy the cricket. He loves to creak at my suggestion. So listen close and forget it, because sleep to those of aggression and a cat sleep." Ooh, very nice. Inspiration point acquired. Hey. Also, your cricket gets a hat now. Also, your cricket gets a hat. Is it a top hat? Yes, it is. Yeah. He's going to have to earn hey. his cane, though. <laughs> no, but that's good. Uh, and so. 22 hit die? Yeah! Yeah, and that's. Uh, geez. All right, give me a second. I need to go look at these guys, actually, and be determine the exact, because you're going to be able to spread them across multiple people. Ah, oh, Jesus. At so it's 22, right? Cricket? Oh no, it's a living cricket. Yeah. He's 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 in a gilded cage. You said twenty two, correct? Twenty two hit dice total. Great. Oh my goodness, let me double check this last thing. Cause I gotta always Uh but <laughs> bad thing and then it's uh Florence because Florence is manning the station. And Florence might be he, he ain't gonna put Florence to sleep. I think as the solid amount, the deep rolled. So, yes. Alrighty. Or no. And uh, I want to remind people that he also just spent a turn, uh, or his the first part of his turn, uh, bright, you know, doing a bet. So that yeah. he did just make that bet before doing this, which is fine. I just yeah, want I people to know that. I team against the odds. And then I Very go into the room. Uh, and with that being said, uh, you can choose who to start with uh because you uh, do this creature do by creature yeah number one number four uh number do i have range on clementine because it's 90 feet uh shit you might have range on clementine but i'll have to double check his stuff I'll throw clementine into 
Do you want to do Clementine first or you want to do Clementine last? Or what? what Clementine's or not technically in the fight. He's not technically involved in the odds. So I'm going to do him. All right. Because he is in range. If I get an option, which I don't think sleep technically gives me that. Start uh, target and basically goes a spreading. No, it doesn't. Lowest it says... current hit points. Each creature is affected by the spell, falls unconscious. So it starts with lowest, works its way to highest. Yep. So if Clementine has more hit dice than them, I can't target him first anyway. Not only that, it's creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected. So you can only choose one point, not every character in range, which is interesting. I didn't know that either. It's good to learn things, which is why it says 90-20. All righty. Thank you, D&D &D numbers. You make sense now. Because <laughs> me has brain now. <laughs> it looks like you're probably going to have to take a centered point to get those four unless you just catch those yeah, no, them in Clementai. The, the shield right here. I'm, I'm the break green. Oh, although... Okay, I have to right double here. check this one again. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this spell can roll the 5d8 totals how many creatures can affect. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In ascending order of their current hit points. That's a big important part. So I need um, to know. So I know that it was seventy-eight rolled. And even if Florence can't be put to sleep. Oh, I think he. Do you? Oh yeah, when you cast a spell using slots of second level or higher, you add additional two d eight for each slot. So he added oh, okay. a d eight. Yep. Uh, yeah, I knew he could do that. I, that's why I wasn't too worried about it, but uh, it is good to specify that, and he did say he was casting it as a higher level. Uh, I missed the higher level part. I, I kind of glossed... I apologize. No, 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 you're good. It's always good to double check each other, as long as we're just double... That's why we read the TV so carefully How now. How are people doing the circle? Oh, uh, you oh, can... Oh. Yeah. That's 20 feet circle. Or tw Is it a 20 radius circle or 20 diameter circle? Oh god, my brain. Um, what? Um. I, I, I can't figure out the circle thing that you guys are doing. I don't get it. You gotta <laughs> go to um the the square, like underneath the pointer, and click draw shape, and then hold alt. Oh, so okay. that one is the one you drew is a twenty diameter circle. Yes. And is the spell yeah. diameter or radius? Yes. I think it's radius. It is it's a 20 foot circle, which means it's 20 uh, diameter. It should be, yeah. Well, I thought it was 20, point, 20 feet from the space you choose, which would make it a radius. That one is. That's why this one's not necessarily a circle. This one is a radius from there, but it's... That's the thing. As opposed to saying just a 20 foot circle, this one says within 20 feet of the point you choose. So okay. that, so that, that one would be double the size of that. But, yeah, it's, there's a lot of the wording, man. The wording in these can get super f***ed up and weird. Speak. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. Uh, so you can, uh, if you grab draw shape, which is the third one down, click alt, and then pull the circle. Yeah, that should be the, about the right size ish. right there. It's a little small on one side, but ish should be all right as long as it's kind of centered the other thing i can do is always just give you the square and you can make the actual circle for around that one that too I'm gonna just you make put it you... right there it should be able to get everybody i'm gonna i'm gonna make you guys a square and then give it properties yeah hopefully we're not hit if it hits anyone it should hit probably the okay, well, at I... least then they can it I was gonna say, I can't, magic can't put me to sleep. So yeah, exactly. So yeah, you, you might as well do it to the elf. Oh, uh, if you're gonna be able to catch the elf. So, if you're doing it where it's currently placed, I don't know if we're using the green or the yellow one as the I'm indicator. Alright, so. I'm gonna change mine to purple. E either way, currently I mean, purple, you have so you know. one, two, and I'm counting him even though it's barely there, three allies in there. So, it'll go from them and include them in the spell if they are 
able to be applied in the spell. So obviously elves can't be put to sleep. It will not be applied to them. I can't be put to sleep either, even though I'm a half elf. Okay. <laughs> I think Fuck Michael is a bit dangerous. <laughs> so my, in which case my suggestion what? would be to move it up, you know, just like five feet. Maybe a little wow, bit less. Okay, what did we do to this? Yeah, so right there I would definitely count that as not hitting oh, wow. not hitting uh wedge. So if that is where you wanna cast that, I am totally yeah. cool with that. Alright, so you see that this guy passes out. Uh following that this oh it's, this guy passes out. This guy passes out, and this guy passes out last. They, you had perfect number of hit dice for it. Uh, I still technically have a turn, so I move forward. Uh, wait a minute. It makes me kind of wonder. What about, what about him? That, the purple one is me. Oh, oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. my bad. This is why I gotta give everyone names say, on their character as model. I, <laughs> as I slowly walk across the arena, and I make a show of checking on them, of like, oh yeah, you too? Mm -hmm. You're asleep as well? Okay, okay. I walk over there. I, I, I take a I take a glancing look at Clementine just to see if he's if he's feeling froggy, um, and then to be, feel safe, I stare directly into the doll. Into the what? I stare directly into the doll's eyes. Okay, <laughs> just for safety. There once was a lass who attacked. She said, "Hey, see, lovely contact. It was Darwism, but not narcissism. She just couldn't say no to the pact." <laughs> and she's gonna get destruction. So, uh, so when she attacks, she can add her inspiration to the attack die, and she'll do additional thunder damage. Hmm. What? what? <laughs> when you do damage, you roll a d. Uh, give me a second. Is it d8? I think it's a d8. D6. You roll a d6, and you add that to your damage as thunder. Nice. Yeah, because, but you know you did entrust it. <laughs> mm, this, is, this is great. This is great. That's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and the thing is, it must they must make a con or get D uh, against your D. A spell DC or take the uh, equal to for sleep. No, for the note. Oh, for the note of destruction? Mm hmm. Just well, I'm not doing her damage. I'm, I'm inspiring her, and she gets to do more damage. I know, I know. I know, that I'm just saying. Got you. She also has a nice, very purple note that spies around her as well, so. That's ooh, ooh. Uh, which, by the way, once they uh, pass out and fall over, you hear the announcer yell, "And it's over! The uh, the intrepid team of new fighters from Zathros's side have successfully defeated us." Cheaters. <laughs> We're clearly superior. We're clearly superior. So let's get our gold. Then let's go find the fucking dragon we need. Um, are there slavers? Slavers, you say? Yeah. Uh, there may or may not be some around. I mean, this is a disreputable part of town. I, I wave them over. Alrighty, let me, uh, let me make a roll here. Okay, so out of 70, 17. So about eight people come over. That's fine. Uh, I need four hang. You need four what? Who, Sorry. Who got it? Who, uh, manacle. Manacles. Yeah, I mean, I start, I start trying to pit them against each other for who's going to give me the better price on man. <laughs> I feel like that's a show. I feel like that's a roll. 
for sure. Do you want performance or do you want uh, I don't, persuasion? I feel, uh, that one is tough. That one could be either, I would say. I feel like either of those could encourage somebody to do such a thing. And yes, you could. Okay, okay. So I, I go over to and I'm like, and I'm like, uh, uh, shit. I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I say, I say, uh, um, uh, shit, I'm blanking. I don't know. <laughs> While she's thinking, I'm poking the one that's asleep in front of me with my quarter staff. Like, come on, I want to fight more. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so which one is this? <laughs> I help him and I say, I help him and I say, I say, um, who has the best price for us? That's it, because I'm stupid and I can't. I'm not as clever as Carly clearly is. I get a dirty 20 persuasion. Uh, I'm in need of four manacles. I'll only buy from a single one of you, so who wants? The, uh, let's see, that's a pretty good roll, actually. Ah, shit. <laughs> All this shit is going on. Um, so basically, <laughs> you're, you know, you're haggling, uh, Eliminates a couple of them as they reveal that they don't even have enough to to supply your full thing So two or three of them drop out because they don't have four sets of manacles total um, One or two of them uh, are offering but they're offering at about ten silver pieces a piece Whereas uh, you got another guy who's offering it like three silver pieces a piece yeah. And then one guy says he'll just sell you all the manacles. He has for ten silver pieces I take the all manacles for ten silver. He drops like fifty sets of manacles out of like a shady set of jackets and just runs off with your silver. Uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm probably okay with that. I start manacling the unconscious bodies in time. Alrighty. Oh my god. At uh, at which point the uh, better comes over as you're manacling people and he uh, drops you off your. Uh, you should now have thirty eight. He takes two percent from the house as you know obviously as a broker and uh you ended up with a profit of uh 15 gold 15 gold and there's one two three four you're a doll five of us <laughs> yep. not Although to mention my, that was my bet troop member the profits that we will raise as a group are those of if you believed in us, you should have made a bet. <laughs> How, however, however, I do tip her one gold. I do appreciate the the. Uh, speaking. <laughs> that's too funny as fucking hell, though. I just love that. Just like, no, 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 no. That's the true gold. This is my gold. <laughs> No, but what I was the one taking the risk, man. Yeah, it's true. He did. He did risk his money. I didn't even have any gold. I had no choice. Uh, Wiser you know financial I investments. I should have left you in the dragon. I should have left you in the. <laughs> <laughs> so with a fifteen persuasion, I let the one with the quarter staff start poking these guys awake, Ooh, and I yes. call everyone. <laughs> Where do I need to go? <laughs> are you even? Are you even a hero anymore? Wait a minute. What happened with Florence and the snag machine fiasco? That I mean, you've still been over there working, I assume, right? You just got yeah. you got to roll performance for the, the second part of your selling, and we'll see how much you made. Okay. Do I get to roll forty twenties to see if I wake them up? Yeah. And what she gets. Uh, why not get some assistance? All right, so you made another uh, 28 sales and banked roughly another like 15 gold. Didn't get any more ticket sales after the fight started, unfortunately, for the bets, because it was pretty obvious who was going to win. Clementine, and then he just jumps in the ring next. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, 15 performance, as these are all tied up, and she starts waking them up, I start announcing to everyone around here. For transgressions against the grand troop syncopation, I claim right of servitude from these four. 
and uh, everybody was, like kind of looks around, but is really not that uncommon to happen here. No, I'm just stating it so that no one can argue it later. Yep, he's making his official announcement. They all look up like, ah, son. Oh, God. <laughs> or, or, hypothetically, what we could do, Gunter, is we could let them go and then go find the fucking dragon that we need to do. What dragon? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Can I, roll, can I roll something to figure out what is his deal? Because he was acting weird earlier and he doesn't know what dragon now. I mean, sure. That's that an insight. Insight? insight? Okay, so 16, it's 16 and then 17, 20. 27. Fucker. Yeah, he's got some pretty good counters, I'm not gonna lie for this. Fucker! You're gonna have a real okay. tough time learning anything about Gunther if he doesn't want you to. Okay. He's also got a lot of carnival knowledge, he's been here a while. I know how these games are played, literally. Okay, sure. so I start taking these back to my tent to 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 get them going. I, I intentionally tied the one that we've been talking about, Axel, on the on the back end. After we're out of the arena and we're back at our place, I untie him and refer to him as name and say, "Hey, thanks for the good work. You already have a bed. Go over there. I'll deal with these." All right. Sounds good. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get these guys off of the thing. Okay. Don't worry about those guys. So, Gem. Actually, no, what? Hold up. What? What? Lawrence. Lawrence, buddy. Yeah. Oh, pal. Yes. You know, it's... what's our cut of the gold, man? And with Florence, just an ice age and some, uh, some pop rock and popcorn. Thank you. What's our cut of the gold, though? He's okay, but I don't know. Oh lord, I just saw your guys' messages. Sorry, I got a lot going. Um, are you guys discussing this with an earshot of me? Or are you guys hanging back in the arena as I'm walking? Yeah. I'm wherever Florence is. Yeah, Florence is still at the stand, uh, the makeshift, uh, makeshift stand that she has made with this floating disc. from this conversation. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is, did everyone forget about the dragon? Is no, I, something... mm -hmm. I, 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 I... I don't entirely, I'm not sure. But at the same rate, did ask me to run a pop rock. A popcorn, pop rock, popcorn. And you did great. I mean... I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, if I'm talked into it, why not? Do I notice this weird, like, shadow person up here? You're busy talking. I stealthed away. Fine. So we talk. You do your thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. And which, but anyway, she does you for the second part of that real quick. Does say, well, but uh, you did help in entertaining, so um, did it give some of it a small amount? Oh, thank you. How much? She gives her around like um, uh, so she gives her about about twelve, twelve from it. Yeah, good. Oh, twelve gold. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. It's not, not much. It's not much, but it's honest work. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh oh. There they go. The doll. Uh -oh. 
The doll moves and he follows. So I, are we going back down towards our uh, southern goals? I'm not. <laughs> we, I, I go, I have accomplished my goal of getting gold, so I go south. <laughs> Try to find the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at which point this uh, person shows up and is moving around for no reason. Don't worry about them. Who's that? What is that? I can't tell what that is. That person is Dianaric. Oh. And he rides a great skeleton and steed. But it's all good. You guys went south. I didn't. Oh, well, then it's not all good for you, then. <laughs> I went up to the person you just messaged me about. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about them. They're doing things. I want to talk to them. <laughs> I mean, you definitely can. I have a screen in the middle of my World 20 that is broken. I can't pull it away. Oh, I've, I've had that happen before. You have to restart the whole damn thing and reload. It's retarded. Sorry, I shouldn't use that. It is... Dumb as all f mm, terrible. And oh man, so much going on. I removed myself, so until I'm back in, like, I'm just gonna let you go. Does the person seem to pay any mind to me, or are they too busy talking to they're, other people? They're basically whispering at Clementine at this point, which is weird because they're really, they're basically your height, so that, like, Clementine has to, like, fucking crouch down to, like, have the person whisper in his ear. I will... Can, can I try to signal to just be like, hey, come find me later? to the group or no, to this person to, 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 to the person he's a little wrapped up he didn't really notice you okay fine I'll go rejoin the group back to we, the group are we, are we all like are us four all going together or am I going south and everyone else is going back to camp I think everyone's where's everyone going Wedge is going I, back to camp he's got things there we just forgetting about the dragon, though. Mm, no, 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 no. It's just I'm gonna go find the go go to dragon. Dragon That's south. That's south. Let's go Dra south. Dragon. Dragon. Let's go south. Find the dragon. Well, after Florence has you know cleared out, you know, sold out on it. Yeah. Yeah, you should probably be sold out of candy at this point. Just want to make. Yeah. She did a good job, man. I can't argue. It's true. I got twelve gold. It's fine. All right, so we're headed back. Some people to camp. Some people to the south. Yeah, hey. Splitting party. the party is great. It's always <laughs> great to split the party. Yeah. No one ever dies. What? I mean. Oh, somebody's gonna die. Of fun. It shouldn't be any of you guys, though. <laughs> I, I believe keyword is shouldn't. Shouldn't. You never know. Because I don't know what's going to happen in the next encounter. Very good question. That one question. was. Yeah. Does the. Does. Paz know that we lost the dragon. I can't remember. You know, just as not. you say that, Paz <laughs> comes up and she's like, "So how's Clarence doing?" <laughs> Fine. Oh, cool. Let me see. Let's go talk to him. Uh, well, you see the. the where's he? Where's uh, he hanging out? You know, we we put him back in our tent. It just oh, cool. Let's go to see. Way. Yeah, that's all right. We'll go walk to your tent real he, quick. He's taking a nap though. We don't want to interrupt him. Ah, no, nah, he sleep. sleeps too much. 
his his performance is <laughs> And she just starts walking towards your tent. <laughs> Oh, oh! Yeah, it, it, the, I just didn't want to say anything. I, I, well, that's against his contract. We need to go and break this up. <laughs> Can he just have one nice thing? He doesn't get days off. It's in his contract. He works so hard. And, he doesn't even and, work. Uh, he, you guys do know why the yellow bellies are gone, right? Listen. No, no one told us. That's oh, okay. of course. We don't need to know. Of course. No, I want to know. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you yes, don't. I do. Yes, I do. I no, know. you don't. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys figure it because Michael seems to have some uh, knowledge of this. I'm gonna go mute just for a moment. Um, insight on um on wedge why don't i want to know <laughs> well you can ask why you don't want to know but i ain't gonna get you exactly what you want to know uh, what? okay listen i really think you should tell us and i'm gonna roll persuasion i mean that's a 10 but with my modifier it's a 19 hey axel you uh, that's sit you, there and that's... uh Tell them that's the easy. rule for persuasion on other players. Oh, does he have a specific rule for persuasion? Oh, does he? He, he does. I'll be right back as I go throw some stuff away. <laughs> I was just about to say, usually in the games that I've played, they usually have that a contested rule against it. Hmm. Because it's like you trying to get something out of them, but them reading, like, why are you asking? Yeah, like, usually either persuasion or deception, whatever's appropriate, versus insight. Yeah, that's usually how I've seen it go. But also DM rules. Did did Axel say anything, or did he actually walk away? Walk forgot away. I was on mute. Now I just always forget I'm on mute. Um, basically, and even if you check the guides and stuff, they, t they actually address this a couple times, because it's a very common topic, that it's usually because the whole point is your character decides what they do with the exception of a hard spell or something <laughs> along that line anything that goes along the lines of like say intimidation persuasion or something you do feel persuaded and you do feel intimidated but it's still your choice on whether or not to do it so for example you can be scared out of your mind and still choose not to like reveal what's going on depending on what's going on and that's fairly common for most things for players most of the interactions for like perception and stuff and intimidation are meant for npcs and even with npcs like if you go up to the the tenure guard of the city even if you're super intimidating he's not gonna let you by like he just has he's basically preset to say like now like this is my job and my life like unless you're actually gonna kill me right here i'm probably not gonna run away Okay, okay, okay. There's just little things like those. So you can definitely do that, and th what I will say is their character will have to act in the manner of perception. Uh, the other way that works is, so for instance, like, say someone's trying to hide something, so, like, you're trying to sense that he's hiding something or something, like, that role would be appropriate. Like, you would be able to sense he was unable to hide that he, you know, he had some ulterior motive. But as far as, like, persuading someone or intimidating another player character into telling you something, that one is usually taboo for me because it gets to become, like, a player versus player war. And then at that point, the bard always wins. Fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. It's, it's like... Persuasion. <laughs> the plus... Uh, I, uh... Anywho, now that we got the gist of the persuasion against other players done... Um, I will just let you know that I did have a conversation with Clarence, and it is best that you don't know what happened to the previous troop. As you wouldn't want to do this anymore. Hmm. At the same time, I feel like we should know what we're getting into. 
just say this. What is he? He's a dragon. What type? Acid. Did what? they get acid? Did they get he's, acid? He's a black dragon. What are black dragons? And I leave it at that and I head back to camp. You assume I know about black dragons. I have no idea. Well, it's, it's time for y'all to do some learning then. <laughs> <laughs> I Hooray! Have, have fun with that. <laughs> see if you can find a library somewhere. Should we roll to see what we know? Yeah, I'm fucking out of characters saying I don't know about black dragons. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, I don't answer that. Clarence, I've spoken with him. I know how he is. I take a very, very good educated guess of what happened to the last troop. I bet they got acid. It's a possibility. But since, you know, y'all don't know about black dragons, I suggest you find a library somewhere within this carnival. If there is one, I'm pretty sure there's a bookseller that has something on the creatures of this world. What kind of bookseller works at a carnival at the carnival? You would have to be surprised. Also, just because I list doesn't know about black dragons doesn't mean yeah, should we Jen roll might not. Anything? I mean, I suppose that would probably be a history check? I think it would be a history. Axel? Should be. Although that one is not a carnival history check, that's just a basic history check. Or I guess you could do magic or nature since they're magically natural creatures, but it, it's, yeah, weird. Either way, it's all the same modifier. Well, there you go. Because I'm not proficient in any of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know squat. I rolled a five. 16. Uh, so at a 16. Uh, you should basically know all the basic info given in the monster manual. If you need me to give that to you, I can do that right now. Would is you? It, is it the acid? Because I don't, I don't have the monster manual on me. It is the acid dragon, but that is probably okay. that's just one part of its description. Yeah. That's not the part he's trying to hint at, and I don't want to give it away. But let's just say that. Dragons have always been very <clears throat> color coordinated. If you get my drift. Yep. Uh, yeah, I am well aware, especially since I do have the monster manual in front of me. Like, oh, yeah, wow. I do as well. So I just not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, I don't blame you. Chromatic, right? Black's chromatic. Uh, I think they're chromatic. Yeah, because I'm working through Vox Machina and the Chroma Conclave. One of them was... They, they are indeed chromatic dragons. That's one of the descriptors. <laughs> do, you, do you know the main trait of chromatic dragons? Uh, the rain. Mm, that's they're part brutal. of it. They're brutal. That is true. That's part of it. That's that's it's part of the descriptor. It's not the full descriptor. Uh, so generally speaking, so we don't have to, you know, pussyfoot around the subject. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, all chromatic dragons, with no exceptions, are evil. Okay. I mean, I figured that. Yes. But evil's like kind of in our name here, Karn Evil. This is true, but if that's the case, what do you think happened to Clarence's last owners? Oh, they 100% got acided. Yeah. They absolutely got acided. So, so yeah, so maybe just we'll let we'll let. Clarence have this one afternoon with his lady friend dragon so we don't get acid too and we're gonna 
I'm gonna I'm let you guys it. deal with that. I'm not qualified to deal with acid dragons yet. It's not in my trainee program. Dang. I need to go diversify our funds and, you know, expand the portfolio. Also, we have mountain goblins everywhere! Okay. And, and Pius is out. Okay, that was good, I think. So, can I figure out where the dragon is? Cause that little dragon's not gonna cut it for a show. <laughs> uh, just you. Okay, okay, just, uh, uh, first of all, mean. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, prestigitation and uh, and uh, minor illusion can do wonders on a on a stupid crowd. But I uh, I yeah. get. These are stupid. Groups are stupid. Yeah, people. Mob mentality is beautiful. Hashtag herds moo. <laughs> uh, okay, so... But yeah, if you want to roll another investigation check, you can see if you know where you know he has gone. You can ask some people around. Come on, Nat twenty. Uh, that's a fourteen plus four, so eighteen. Uh, so with a little bit of checking around and you know like following the general like whispers going around because people are starting to crowd up now it's getting a little busier you know we'll, we'll say it's m maybe in this section of the carnival since it's the harsher section it opens later there's maybe like 30 people now roaming around okay and uh between that you, you hear some things about a dragon heading to the other carnival back to our carnival okay then. okay mm -hmm. before we go before we go yeah do we want to end up like the yellow bellies? Well, I figure... Or... That, or what? We can't afford a dragon. Or the Let's show... Let's not worry about it. The, the show okay. goes on and we use magic on a bunch of people. We will be perfectly fine. If I can't convince you, let's at least flip a coin and we'll decide that way. Nah, you've convinced me. I don't really... <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck this, fuck this dragon and fuck this carnival. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Twice <laughs> today. Ah, ah. I, got, I got, I got. We got attacked by a T-Rex today, and insulted by a group that you decided to attack. So I'm done with the carnival today. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I only got to hit one of them. I didn't get to do anything. I had my crossbow ready and everything and nothing. I didn't- I've never used this thing. Maybe it's a good thing, but- I have this crossbow, and I've never fucking used it! Yeah, I have- I have no one to shoot, and I'm frankly upset by that. What's the point of carrying this crossbow around if I can't shoot anybody with it? Well, whose fault is it that you didn't get to shoot anyone? Everyone's. Don't war. Let me go back to camp. All right, give me a moment. I'm surprised I didn't have to roll deception on that on that lie for Clarence. To be fair, you know, <laughs> the pies didn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> said not not her problem there clarence isn't a part of her circus so therefore he is not her monkey yeah fair one of the few times this actually applies literally <laughs> not figuratively <laughs> not my not my dragon not my circus it's true <laughs> this is such a random question. That's not what a kind no. of question is that? That's not a no wedge. It's a doll. How can a doll be alive? How can a doll's eyes move? Its eyes are moving, wedge. You've never heard of sockets? You know nothing about mechanisms? 
Wedge, what's that purple moat flying around it, Wedge? What purple moat? Purple moat from Gunter. From the fight earlier. You see it. Uh, no, I honestly do not. I have no idea. Don't gaslight me! I... <laughs> no, I seriously have no idea. There was a boat of destruction thing flying around. Um, the this is out of character, floating around the doll when Gunther cast the inspiration. Spell. Yeah. Oh no, no, I. Yeah, don't you missed. Anything about yeah, that. yeah, he gave. Don't. Yep, he gave the 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 doll an inspiration dice. It. Well, it's like inspiration and explosive inspiration, essentially. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. It was great. It's just a just a doll that just happens to be able to be inspired. You can't I mean, that on a doll. I mean, technically, you can. You can you can cast a projective board on any non living object. Like, if I want to, I could even put Hunter's Mark on it. I can put Hunter's Mark on a fucking table. <laughs> could you really? Yeah, there's no point to it, but I could. Yep. You'd put That's it on pretty much anything. That's marvelous. Yeah, it's so you can now find porn to, later. I put it on a fucking blade of grass. So while this conversation is happening, can I check and make sure that the doll is actually like looking at me? I'm I'm like a hair's breadth from from fucking attacking the doll. I wouldn't do that. That's I would not do that, but I want to. <laughs> and uh, we'll say that. That was the travel time to the next, okay. back to the place. Yeah, I, I feel like we had enough time there for you guys to travel and talk. We're now back at the other side. We'll say it's it has been a little bit now. It's starting to get towards night, and even though you don't have the clearance performance tonight, you do have your regular performances scheduled for tonight. Mm. Which are you up know to what you. Our regular performances are. Uh, yeah, that, that, I mean, you guys know. We absolutely know. Uh, Do we? <laughs> I would hope so. Your characters are often based around that. <laughs> um, what was our act again? Uh, there was a lion in there. Yeah, he's gonna be what out tonight. Think? Yeah, he, the, he'll be back tonight. Like, yeah, he'll be last performance probably tonight. Uh. Uh. I can I can play a little ditty and, and sing a song. Is that really what would attract the people though? Nah, the, the people love Mixolydian, but it's all good. No sick. The pe the main attraction is obviously the big tent right beside ours, not ours. But we still need people in our tent. Mm. I can gather them by force. Mm. Could do that. Maybe. Walks off to tent. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good idea. We probably should figure out like you have to you have to go like do your stretches and stuff for your for your routine, Jem. Yeah. So I go off and I start doing that. Okay. <laughs> and, and I will go to the tent too. Alrighty, so you guys are headed to the tent, and, uh, you know, you get over there, and I'm not gonna lie here, this might be a surprise to some people, but in, uh, in the tent, chilling out, is, uh, an old it's friend. Clarence. Yeah, it's Clarence. Clarence, what the fuck? Clarence, hey. what the fuck, Clarence? He's currently being serviced by two gobs. <laughs> Quote unquote, serviced. Yeah, what do you mean by serviced? I'm sorry, oh. we can't go into that. This is a kid friendly stream. I'm guessing get food. 
um, pampering the living shit out of it, maybe? Yeah, no, they're, they, they are his caretakers, so they're making sure that he's comfortable, that he's fed. You, you yeah. see the bones of some that are strewn across the ground. He's picking his teeth with a gob. I go over to Gem and I say, you know, I could use my fucking crossbow on Clarence. <laughs> I, look, I, I, I just kind of look back. No. <laughs> As I walk past Clarence to go to my little area where all my stuff is, I just kind of give Clarence a little pat and continue on. Clarence uh, gives you a nod and uh, he looks kind of around. He's like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Very good. It's quite delightful to see you all again. Delightful. Uh, yes, I'm glad you all survived your skirmish with Barney. With Barney? <laughs> yeah, that's his name. Well, it was his name before you re-killed him. <laughs> Whatever happened to its corpse? You know, that's a good question. They dragged it over here. But that was... Wow, but that was like right before... Well, it was right after you left for the first time and I came back. So... So have you, like, been here the whole time? Uh, when did you leave from fishing? God, a while ago. Like ago. That's, that's when I came back. <laughs> we, oh. we, picked, we picked a fight but after that, even. We, yeah, we went oh. to the <laughs> and then we fought and everything. Oh, you guys had an exciting day. All I did was I went fishing, I went and saw the fire breathers, I went and had a fight. It was delicious. Oh, we had the exact same day. Oh. Yeah, we pretty, pretty much, much did, did, just right after you. Oh, hey, well, how did you like my day off? I never get one, you know. It, it would have been better if I got to do more punching. Yeah, I could have used my crossbow. You want Bueller? To see it? Bueller? Why do you have that doll? Why is everybody asking about the doll? <laughs> it's a weird doll. It Can't an Earth Ganazi just have a doll? Maybe I have a damn hobby, right? You mean a fetish and looks back down? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 yell from, I yell from across the big tent. He calls it an action figure. It's a collectible, <laughs> goddammit. It, has, it, it has limited edition witch bolt action. <laughs> and, you, and, and, the, and from probably the fishing tent, you just hear a. That's that's funny. That's a funny way to call it. <laughs> oh man. Um, Axel, if I find any laborers or you know muscle people in the area that aren't looking busy, I assign them to start carrying water so that we can fill up the tank. Okay. Woo. So you do have, uh, luckily, since they have brought back, you know, the corpse of Barney, uh, you do have Steve the intern, and of course Leroy the transgender barmaid at your disposal. So. Leroy Jink. Leroy the transgender barmaid. Leroy, you are earning yourself another outfit today. I am working you hard. Hope you are enjoying it. I, I want to be a nurse next. <laughs> I will make that happen. I started out as Leroy the transgender stripper. <laughs> well, what kind of nurse, Leroy? Sexy nurse. Nice. I need to show off my hair. Which is actually long and luxurious. Doll to not be a doll anymore. <laughs> Maytan poked the doll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once again, I cannot think of an adequate reason why this would work, but I also can't think of an adequate reason why it would not work, so... I would like I would like to first go stealthy to stealthily poke the doll with my hand. I feel like summoning a giant spectral hand that... It's not 
giant. Fair. It doesn't say giant. I just always wish it was giant. That's Bigby's hand. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. I I guess go for the stealth roll. I still feel like this is entirely just out of precedence. There's just no precedence for this. So it's just That'd out of the bounds. Eighteen. I mean, you definitely snuck up and then poked them. At which point the stuff ended. <laughs> that is a I good crap poked check. It all. I poked it all. What happens? Doll, what happens? Nothing yet. Bam! <laughs> Rejected! <laughs> yet, no. not yet, it scares me. <laughs> He's waiting for you all to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, good thing Flores is nowhere near that doll and has not poked the doll. <laughs> Keep this in mind, she has not poked this doll. Uh, I have done nothing to harm the doll. I would like that to be known clear. The doll has been unharmed. Well, the snake's hissing at the mage hand, so. No, now's, now's not a good time. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean, now is not a good time? Any time's a good time to talk to Sarah Show. I would mean ma that would mean making a spell. Or casting a spell. You mean oh, like you just did for, for like you just did for Mage Hand? Oh, but it's a can oh, but Mage Hand is a cantrip! <laughs> it's still a, a it's still a spell though. Yes, but one of us does not expend it! <laughs> I try my hand at ventriloquism, and I try to make it sound like a soul is escaping from the door. I rolled 11. Uh, so <laughs> anyone who's passive perception, I guess, is that high would notice it, and then would oh, have to I mean, do a perception. I would so. 13, so. so you all notice it, uh, but then you have to, like, determine if it's real or not. So I guess insight? You know what? I'm fine with that. I have a plus three to my insight. Twenty. Five! <laughs> Seventeen. So whoever got five thinks that, uh, this, this sounds like the soul of the doll is escaping. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. She sets the life from the doll. <laughs> you, don't want to absorb the doll. you don't want to absorb the soul. <laughs> no. Look, you don't want your soul to be absorbed back into the doll now. <laughs> Exactly. Now you're the genie. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, you guys have your performance tonight. You have Clarence the Dragon. So we're doing a mermaid show. To replace the lion show for at least the moment. To temporarily replace the lion show. We're doing trapeze. And what's our other thing? Oh, what do you guys do? Well, I, I'm the. I shoot things. Yeah, so we probably have some sort of sharp shooters show or set. I'm assuming each is probably for an hour. You, they, the shows probably don't start until about seven because usually circuses they try to wait until the the lights are down so yep. that they can actually control what's being focused on. Um, and then they usually go until about ten to eleven. Yep. And then after that, you start getting freak shows and things kind of calm down in the normal circus, and the other circus probably gets fucking crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> Tell about so two or general, three. <laughs> yeah. So in general, from seven to ten, we're probably getting at least three, or at most three shows, um, with each set being roughly about forty-five minutes, with a fifteen-minute reset where the ringleader kind of sets up everyone else of like hype, 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 do your thing. That kind of thing. That would also okay. be the time where you would be selling concessions, uh, doing other stuff can on the I, side, toys. Can I be doing some busking? I mean, yeah. I don't see why not. Honestly, honestly, I would assume that you'd be doing busking out all the time outside the tent to try and pull. Yeah, which would be what would determine how many people come in as the main door attraction. Okay. I mean, to be to be fair, you're pulling audience directly away from away from Zarathos. So everyone you can possibly get I want <laughs> <laughs> So it's Gunther a very here. there's a reason he has this tent. <laughs> when when Gunther literally says that to you, you actually see a little bit of emotion in him for for a moment. Of like, no, I want his audience. Okay. 
do you want to put your do you want to put your bardic inspiration where your mouth is? Oh. oh. It'll last for ten minutes, but yeah. <laughs> Only for the next ten minutes, but. <laughs> for the next ten minutes, I'm so fucking inspired. <laughs> Maybe That's wait till thing. seven to do that. <laughs> 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 it's like. We'll wait till seven. But in the meantime, I am still busking to get some money. I want coins. I mean, that will still technically work during the interim, just less effective until the start of the carnival. I mean, it gets more and more infective as you get closer to the start of the carnival, but yeah. Infective. Infective! Uh, <laughs> what would be the normal price of tickets? Uh, I'd say for, for your guys' one, shit, man, that's... Uh trying to scale these up i'd say that for the secondaries you guys probably take a silver piece for entry you probably have a gold piece for main entry silver piece for side for side tops and then for the other tops would be like some number of copper each what's the name of the other bard i forgot me yeah carly so carly i'll tell you what you know the ticket prices are one silver you can sell them for whatever you want over that one silver. Whatever you sell more than silver, you. Hmm. So if you sell them for two silver, that's a silver in your pocket. Every time you sell a ticket, that's just more money. What's the main? Like, what did you say the main attraction was? The main tent. Uh, main tent is. Yeah, this orange one. It changes from time to time because it's uh Zarathos's one. But from what you understand is it's a very unique animal tamer. How much does it cost to get in? Uh, one gold piece. A gold piece? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. So I'll, in the, until the performance then I'm doing some busking. Awesome busking. Carly seems like the type that, that having monetary in, in incentive. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Look at me, you gotta read your troop. And you're doing it well. Uh, uh, for the trapeze artists, um, do you no. guys need anything new to compensate for any... In to compensate for what? Sorry, you cut out. For for any injuries that you suffered. Like, are you are you all good? or? Oh, I didn't take anything. <laughs> Same, to be honest. But he's giving me money, so I don't care. I mean... Giving me money. <laughs> <laughs> he did give me a gold piece. Meanwhile, there's Wedge in the back filling with his bow and whatnot. Looking kind of somewhat worse for wear. <laughs> Bleeding slightly oh. still, just... Oh! Oops! Oops! <laughs> I, wanted... I forgot! <laughs> Can I cast Cure Wounds on him? <laughs> there's two giant axe scars across his chest, just... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they're not they're not exactly scars yet. They're still fresh. Just touches them, oh, bleeds. I'm cast bleeds cure wounds on him. <laughs> uh, I'll cast cure wounds at first level. It's one d eight plus five, which is okay. It's six. Woohoo! You have six hit points now. And why can I not select my character to bring the thing magic dubidab up? Oh, that that was why because I had both selected. Yeah, I'm at 26 health. Out of my whopping 40. <laughs> I did my best. Well, How do you good. have so much at level 4? 40 health at level 4? Because I have a 17 constitution? So it's plus 3 every time. So he basically gets 10 health every level. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Cause that, that makes sense. Yeah. He'd have more if he was like a barbarian or something. Yeah, I expect barbarians to be tanks. Plus, I mean, I have 33 and I'm a bard. The heck? How does the person who's up close and personal only have 28? You gotta get well, better <laughs> rolls! <laughs> better Luck has a lot to do with this game. Uh, Especially when you input manually. Oh god, yes. How much money do I earn while busking before show? Well, let's see your uh, performance roll. Performance. And here we go. 18 plus performance of 7. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25. Okay, so let me roll this. 
That's five, so the top there. Price is medium. We're gonna say you earned seven gold pieces while busking outside. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Maybe I should've been doing that instead of building a fucking tank. Hey, um, the, the show now. must the show must go on. Right. Um, is there a chance that to this tank, um, to this pool, I could add a uh, a sound stage underneath it, basically just a hollow area that would reverberate? I mean, yeah, you're just gonna have to make another crafting roll for it. <laughs> Tis always the 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 nature of these things. <laughs> Said when you adjust the house, man, you gotta hire, you know, adjusters. <laughs> Sorry, adjusters, but construction workers. Oh, I'm going to inspi bar inspire him to, with my crafting roll. Oh, shit. With, with his crafting roll. Oh, uh, boy. What's your name, Gunther? It is. Gunther. Gunther. Uh, I should have thought about this rhyme more. Uh, <laughs> I am the. I'm gonna forego an inspiration die. Say, I'm just invi bardically inspiring you right now. It's all right. You 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 gotta use your other one before you can earn another. The sadness. Oh, okay. Well then, there's no point in me singing anyway. But you get a very inspiring song with witty lyrics. It was one of a kind. Yes, it was. So that should be good. And then with your extra three, uh, you should. Twenty-one. Yeah, that's definitely good. It's actually really nice. So to, to explain a little something, I build the soundstage with the express purpose to manipulate the water in a showy fashion with because Thunderwave's just sonic. Should work. You could also do something similar with fire. Are you going to cast Thunderwave while she's in the water? Yes, but I'm going to be casting Thunderwave underneath the water. And I'm building, and I'm gonna build like a like a reef kind of thing inside the pool that she can sit on. So basically, if you subsonic waves and ugulate pressure under a water or fire source using sound, it will automatically change the pressure of the thing above it as well. There's actually a very cool video on that. Uh, if you ever want to check it out, where they're literally just playing a song and using fire and water and air and stuff to like make cool effects. There's another one where they uh, put speakers on the side, and they put uh, film overneath it, and they use sand, and you can actually see the. Oh yeah, you're talking about the wave formations. Yeah, the those ones are cool too. They also have the uh, non-Newtonian fluid one, which you can do. Yes. That one's one of my favorites because you can do that one at home. I just know I'm replacing an undead lion act, so I'm trying to make sure that we have something that's kind of cool. And I'll worry about the water, quote unquote, looking cool while we have the wizard. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's for sure. Uh, yeah, I think go. that's you gotta sell that sex appeal, boys. Hey, right. sex sells. Also, you know what I never did? Uh, I never rolled to see if Clarence recognized me from before. Yeah, you never checked. Before he knew me, can I do that? Yeah. No. Man, you don't know nobody. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You were a hermit crab. You stayed in the tent. <laughs> I stayed with I stayed with Jem for the first like five years here, and then my next fifteen, I was just like, I'll stay in my little area. Unbeknownst <laughs> to her, she kept sleeping in the same fucking chest as the doll. It's just oh jeez. <laughs> oh, so my bed is amazing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you should have a pretty decent soundstage built. Clarence is even pretty impressed. He's like, that's nice. It's nice work. And he looks, uh, over at Michael and char Michael's character and says something in Draconic. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. I got Discord messages. Nah, but they're not from Axel. Yeah, that one was someone else messaged you. I do make a mention to Clarence, um, no if I notice this. Um, that, you know, we'll, we'll discuss what we're doing for your app tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to give you a little bit of leeway as to what you're thinking. Uh, you'd like to either frighten or amaze the app. Hello? Am I still connected? 
Yes. yes. Okay, good. Everything just went silent, and I was just like, oh god, did I get dropped again? What do you want, kitty cat? You never come to give me attention. My what is this? My dice. He wants them. Alright, I gotta make some messages. I was gonna say, uh, you, you said you said something to me in Draconic, but I ain't got anything from you, buddy. He says something, and it's the sound of silence. Now, are we talking about the movie, or are we just talking about the song? The song. Mm, okay. Which one? The new one? The original one? The cla the, the classy the one? The disturbed version one? Yes. When Drago comes back, that's what I'm playing as their background music. <laughs> Yay. I heard it. <gasps> it's an Eevee. Yes. I'm not playing Pokemon Go. Don't judge me. I'm not playing Animal Crossing. Don't judge me. <gasps> I'm playing... I'm not sitting here brushing my hair, waiting for the next thing, trying to think of limericks that I can use for shit like... I may or may not be doing stuff on the side that's dumb as hell, but that's what I do as a DM. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, it is, uh, you know, still you guys is going ahead, getting ready for the prep. Uh, if you have anything specific you want to do before that, if not, we can move towards the performance section. I'm just out here busking. Yeah. You keep also, busking. Also, it is approaching time. Yeah, it is. That was the other reason I was kind of winding to this. We've probably got another, I don't know how long Divi's got, but probably 20 minutes. I mean, it sounds like we're about to go into the show, so unless anyone yeah, else has preps for the show, I would feel comfortable just kind of calling it here so that we had everyone available. Even though Drago's obviously not going to be performing here, I still would like to have, you know, the players actually be around to be like, oh, yeah, I, I never thought of that. That's True. Cool and, like, and oh, speak my God, you rolled a one on this. You're falling from the... I think it would be a good idea to have everyone here first, so it would probably be a good idea to stop. We've also been going for three-ish hours, so it's not a bad session. Um, I am just gonna have a quick conversation with Wedge. Saying, how good are you with those arrows? And how much do they hurt if you get hit with one of them? <laughs> which well, arrow? it depends on which arrow I hit you with. Okay, do you have control over that? And if I'm keeping concentration, sometimes I lose concentration and, uh, forget which arrow I'm pulling out from which quiver okay if say you were shooting at an ally would you pay attention i could possibly pay more attention okay never mind i don't trust you <laughs> i mean it doesn't matter if you trust me or not it just depends on how good you are at dodging so uh I've been asked to announce that whoever used the mage hand suddenly sees spiders crawling all over their body. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, me! That's a dick! My, my, my words are coming back to haunt me! <laughs> I like it. It's great. Wedge, Wedge is actually gonna start bursting out laughing with the spiders crawling all over her. Uh, I believe... Yeah, everyone should be able to see. see them, though, I don't right? know if you can, actually. Let me double check. Um... So you just no, it should be... It should be able to be seen by anybody. Okay, so you just hear me scream. Bloody murder. Uh... Yeah. So how do I? How long does it take me to realize that they're magic? That's up to you. That's. I feel like uh, <laughs> that's very much a character thing, dependent. Like if you're scared of spiders, you might not ever figure it out. <laughs> She's not like super scared of spiders, but any bug on her is just gonna creep her out. So she's trying to push them off, but she. All right, so you would notice that off. you can't feel them pretty quickly, but uh, in order to like break the illusion, you make an intelligence check. Make an intelligence check, because otherwise I'll just be standing covered in spiders. 
with absolutely no reaction. Uh, uh, intelligence. Oh gosh. Please tell me. All oh, in all humor. So you're able to dispel it. You, you notice that it's it's not real. And it, it disappears. Scream, yeah, and Florence, and Florence looks over and it just. What the heck? What the heck? I did manage to keep hold of my loot. <laughs> it did improve my busking. <laughs> the adrenaline rush, it improved my busking. <laughs> um, Axel, before we go, I do try and locate some, uh, like some flame pots, like pots that can hold oil and I can just light and like the corners of the pool to kind of accentuate it. And then something for the middle, like a cauldron to kind of push that whole merfolk type esque feel. Okay. You should be able to find those around the carnival, although you might need to pull in some uh, strings to get some of it. see I'm gonna make a roll yeah you're able to get pretty much everything you're gonna have to like ask uh, some people you know for the cauldron which we can just say happens off screen I figured worst case I could probably pull something from food prep seeing as no one would be making food for the carnival itself at yeah times. yeah at least Probably not at that section yeah. Yeah. yep it would have been made and already set and ready to go just need to be you know heated out Except for the stuff even that's killed live. Temp yeah, even if it's just a temporary thing, just for the moment, like we're just trying to piece this together. If it's something that we like and we want to keep in the act, we'll 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 actually <laughs> find something. Suddenly, the the fucking pool from the fishing pool is. Who took our fishing pool? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, you should be able to find all that with Jim, you know. Do you do you do you do you react at all to me scream from the outside? I'm getting in the zone, so no. <laughs> Rude. Rude. <laughs> Your dear friend screams bloody murder and you don't even react. How rude. Here's the thing. It, it's the carnival? Screams happen. <laughs> exactly. She has a point. I mean... You know what? You have a point. I take it back. The doll is very aware. Huh. The, the doll has been <laughs> stealthing for years now. <laughs> <laughs> the doll knows when someone's bullshitting, doesn't he? <laughs> She's also good at telling when people are locked in boxes. It's just a skill. I don't know where it comes from. No how weird of a skill. Yeah, it's, don't know how that develops naturally. Some people, some people have the skill of counting cards. Some people can sing. Others know when people are in boxes. It'll come in handy eventually. <laughs> this is getting better. Oh my god. What's well, getting better? Just everything. <laughs> Uh, the, the performances, the uh, the use of you know carnival stuff, it's all going well. Good job, everybody. Does anybody want to do anything else before we close up and get ready for the actual show? Uh, my character is going to leave the tent and he's going to wander around for a moment, or two, or five. I. You good to hear my wonderful busking? Uh, once once we're done, if we're all like calling it just to get in our time, I don't leave the tent. Um, I make sure that all once we've went through and done our third checks for all of the acts, I make sure that everything's sealed so no one can tamper them. And then, I... all right, that sounds good. Tent is safe. Acts are down pat. With with the yellow bellies just quote disappearing, I'm not 
playing games with people being in here, so... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's just not have anyone around Clarence. Well, not only that, but let's not have anyone uh, around any of our equipment. That's true. We need all of this equipment. Especially Clarence. But more for Clarence Demore. Equipment? According to his contract. Damn, that's harsh. Clarence needs to negotiate for a better contract. Yeah, it's not in his contract. Out of character, no, I don't know wanna, I do not want to know how you... How you what? How you wear Clarence. Um, as I leave the tent and pass by Clarence, I say something in Draconic and then exit tent. Of course, the doll comes with me. Is the doll, is the doll looking at me funny? Um. I hope the doll gives me like a, a weird ass smile because I have to that. Like a smile? That would be funny as heck. <laughs> and so I do I know that it was you? Or do I, I realize it was the doll? I, I remind everyone to bring me their costumes before the show if they need mending. So that we so that way we can make sure that everyone looks But All I said do? was that just make sure that you bring your costumes to me before the show so that I can mend them. I mean, I've never- I have not gotten hit once this campaign. Knock on wood. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, just, so. just in case you open up your costume thing and a ferret sh took a movement on your, your goods, just bring it over to me. Now I have to check. Now I have to check. We had a whole bunch of goblins out of nowhere start a fight, so just be ready for the nonsense. Not to mention, if those goblins were sent by anybody, we pissed them off by taking their prop and feeding their property to a dragon. Okay, so I check and make sure my equip my costume is all cool and pretty. Clarence burps just ironically at that point. Basically, Gunther is being overly cautious. You guys don't usually see him this cautious. It would make a big enough difference if you've been around Claren or, uh, Gunther long enough that something's up, just be careful. And he's trying to basically say that without blatantly being like, yo, someone's out to get your asses. I think my costume is fine. <laughs> You do not. You do not have a very uh uh a uh, uh smart group. <laughs> I mean, I rolled a sixteen. Oh, well, you're good then. I, yeah, I, I don't know what I would add to that, but I only positive is what I got. Oh, trapeze! Uh, I do have a pocketed unseen servant, just in case you guys. Just so I, I will be able to still catch. Yeah, and I have I have feather fall too. J so. Just in case I what? Well, if you're not gonna fall, then we ain't gotta no, worry I'm about it. I'm saying just in case I what? I couldn't. You cut out. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no. I was just saying the trapeze artist. I have unseen servant in case you fall. So if, like if something goes wrong <laughs> and you don't catch something you're supposed to catch, I do have a backup plan to not let you. Oh, I also have slow fall, so any damage is reduced by twenty automatically. <laughs> And I would stand close enough that I would be able to see her and cast Featherfall if needed. I love how she assumes that she's the one gonna fall. <laughs> Just I'll be fine. I'm go to the, the 500 her. pound middleman flying to the. Listen, the only thing I'm expecting to catch is arrows, but I ain't messing with that because I don't trust them. <laughs> Someday, someday, Look, one just, day just... he'll he'll be good enough, or I'll trust him enough to not throw poison arrows at me. I'm I'm bold enough to not care. <laughs> at this point, I still care. <laughs> I would I would sing and dance around and let him throw arrows at me. Dodge, 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 dodge. 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 Here's the thing: I, I, if it was. Okay, I have more well, it, than you. Unless anyone else has anything to do in the in, in the big top, uh, you all have the afternoon off. Be sure to eat dinner 
early so it settles before showtime and we'll see you uh, but but Florence is kind of like so what would my costume be? ladies you know. would you help Florence I want something flashy I and would love to help Florence and I, and, I, and I want something that'll flow nice in the water. Mm. Carly would love to help Florence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> Florence is just like... So I'm thinking oh. some tools, some sparkles, some uh, uh, bedazzles. I, 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 I wink at Florence and I hand her three gold. Make sure it's a nice outfit. Yes, yes. <laughs> Florence we'll says as she just hides her bag of gold she got from selling rock. Yeah, 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 but she's gonna keep the bag away. But also, my bag. Oh, oh man. Good. Best costume this is... ever. But then again, Florence also has a bag full of, like, bugs and. Oh, don't it's worry, we won't put that in the water, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, it's totally fine. So, we'll find you a bitchin' outfit. You're blue, right? Uh, for the most part, she's like, um... Like a sea foam green. F no, like... Like a, like a... Like the picture you're seeing? The picture you're seeing? As far as, t as tone wise roughly the color it is. Couldn't find a proper name with it. it just okay, okay. The... So I'm thinking something... I'm thinking something maybe purple, maybe green. Something to stick with, like, the watery theme. Like, under the water. And it's gonna be like a lot of tools, so all the wa all the fabric flows in the water, and a lot of glitter and sparkles, so that <laughs> shine on her, makes her pop, you know. And it's just kind of tight around the middle, flashy around the boobs, and Toit. you're fine. <laughs> Toit. <laughs> Sorry, I can never resist doing that one. Toit. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna make her look like a mermaid. How about that? Okay. We got, we got until tonight, so we're fine. All right. Uh, and with that, I, <laughs> I think that's pretty much our prep for the, uh, the show. Ah, 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 ah. Oh man, I love how into it it is though. It's just like all, all everybody. The carnival was a great idea. <laughs> I applaud you like all. It's a wonderful idea. I love this. I have to say I am enjoying the fact that our player base is like, no, I like to RP. Let's totally fucking RP. Let's RP the fuck out of this. I, I threw in a little theme doesn't work unless people are actually going to play up to it. Right. You Like, it's it can't like the, the carnival is not a place for constant combat. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yep. like I try, I definitely try to make sure there was at least an encounter in each one this time, because I know we've had one before where there wasn't and people much expected one so i'm like all right people do want to fight and they want to use their stuff and get into it and some people want to rp and do stuff so what the best of both worlds kind of yeah and be a smart ass let's not mention be a smart ass ah, that just comes no. comes with the territory i am so excited for when diffie's not a doll anymore because then i'm gonna be like do you did you make those fires happen and you're gonna be like, yeah, and I'm gonna be like, I'm so fucking proud. <laughs> it's you gonna take a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm gonna say here that to be so ready to just be this evil doll to mock your dreams. <laughs> 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 She's just so ready to and, be and, like this. And, 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 and Dippy's laughing her ass off. She, I, I'm surprised. I'm like, I'm like, is she doing all right? Did I, did I corner her too much? But she's like, no, she's very much like. Fitting her role so far, and if not, let me know, Diffie. I'll I'll pull you in heavier. But you seem to enjoy being the little evil doll on Michael's shoulder. <laughs> yep, you do. I just I'm, I'm watching from afar, <laughs> just waiting. Yeah, yeah sure. no. Fighting my. Yeah. So she's helped. Spiders were crawling no. all over me. You poked. She got a good stealth check on that too. She got like a twenty-one. It's. I mean, oh. what do you? Expect is gonna happen when you poke me in the doll. Listen, I think you're alive. I think you're alive. So I gotta poke you and make that's, you react. That's the other thing. It's like, how did you know it was me? You've been just like trying to figure out if she's real the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Who I else? Think 
looking as uh, <laughs> as Diffy, not as the dolphin. She yeah. did not. <laughs> I'm still laughing my behind off at that whole fish game. <laughs> oh yeah, I was that like fish game. That was great. Because they are having this full blown conversation with the guys, and I'm guessing they weren't paying attention to the to the nice mage <laughs> just looking at the fish. Oh, you you cast something? Yeah, no. maybe. No. Something. No. Marvelous. Oh no, I didn't cast anything. I, if I cast. They, they would have been a sleight of hand check or a stealth check. There was none. She's just talking to the fish. Just talking to the fish. Yeah. Convince them to let me win. <laughs> are you a are you a druid or a wizard? See, yes, but I'm a sea elf. <laughs> she took one of the slayers to receive. So aquans can usually, in many cases, talk to fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun, yeah. Uh, this is a lot of character. This is gonna be on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just thought it was I... interesting that she just walks up and just like, well, we're gonna just beat him up and take the information. It's like, well, we all work together. You can't just beat up people at your job every day and take what you want. <laughs> I tried to persuade them, but I was just under. You're pretty close. I would have let it slide too for that. I was like, no, but he's he's also works at the carnival. He's got to not get gypped as well, or else he'll get fired. <laughs> Someday, someone will know me. It's alright. I'm gonna give you a hint. There's more than one other person who has that on their thing that because they've been around long enough that they possibly know people at the carnival. Uh, you're not the only one who has a really tough time. I mean, the other one was here for a day. <laughs> uh, I mean, wait a minute. Are you referring to Florence? I, no, I'm referring to Wedge. Oh yeah, Wedge. Oh. Wedge is not the one though. It is Florence then. It might be Florence, or it could be Gunter, the 200-year-old dwarf, or the 500-year. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a 500-year-old. <laughs> sorry, warfare. five. Yeah, Warforge. Sorry, now I don't... Yeah, that guy might have uh, some connections at the carnival, having been working he here for the last several hundred oh, years. Wait. Weren't we talking last week about, like, right before we ended, like, you needed to say something to us about some, like, fighting going on in the camps? And that's why the recap is always the best episode. Oh, but there was, definitely, right. there was definitely discussion of conflict. Um, even uh, Gunther made mention of that there was words of... Um, people kind of fighting in amongst themselves oh, yeah. against the, the, the two deceived you. I mean he gave the information regardless of whether you deceived well no I made I made you believe that I didn't know to be fair it wouldn't have mattered he still would have told yeah, yeah I'm still <laughs> <laughs> he does try to be pretty straightforward with his true it's true but he uh, but Carly doesn't that's the thing. She doesn't be straightforward. She can't trust anybody. Ouch! Okay, so not even another ouch. There's some sass. Okay. So hey, look. Feel trust is a fickle thing. She very gem, and she's known her for 30 years. Yeah, but what about Florence? Florence told Save Save her pop. Florence gave me some gold. And popcorn. And popcorn. So Florence, you're pretty good on my list. I gave her gold. You gave me a gold. I should have left you in the T-Rex mouth. <laughs> I should have left you in the T-Rex. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, I facilitated you getting any money from. Yeah, yeah. But my busking made me the most money of all. It's well, yeah. Okay then. Yeah, okay, hard, then. hard work makes the most money, of course. <laughs> It actually didn't. Florence gave me the most money. <laughs> oh! <laughs> because uh, busking made me seven gold. You gave me one, and the rest of my 20 came from Florence. <laughs> oh! Damn, Florence gave you a lot of gold. She's nice. She's nice. Like... <laughs> Florence, She's very sweet. 
Florence gave you like half the take. She's very nice. I mean, hopefully it pays Which, off. Uh, I also want to. I also want to note that the gold she gave you from that was uh, money she earned from candy that she got from Goot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you mean by facilitating it. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much it was facilitated. <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe, maybe she trusts you a little more. She still doesn't trust you guys. She barely trusts Gem. That's in her character sheet. She has trouble trusting people. Literally, it's a character sheet. It's all good. Um, it it's a uh, it's all good. <laughs> this is too funny. All right. I, I know. I know. I know. I even I'm not even. Serious. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm hitting the uh, I'm hitting the record stop button, stop stream button. I feel like it's a good stopping place. <laughs>